Hey friends, welcome back. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and other assorted holidays not mentioned previously. What's going on? Hello. Ben's here. Hi. Ben's building a distro. Show him what you're building. Power distro. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> um, right now, uh, the case that we're working on behind me is, um, this is one of my favorite things that we do at LM. This is a fridge microwave amenity center case. Um, we've actually been building these since the late 90s. My dad used to take these to Infocom, and uh, they, in their original version in 1997-1998, they just had a uh, fridge and microwave in them, and my dad would pop popcorn, and he would have Coronas in there. So at the end of the day, the LM booth was a place to hang, and perhaps if it was a difficult day, the LM booth was a place to hang to have a beer and a solo cup at the trade show. Anyway... Ben and I just got done listening to Journey's Raised on Radio album, which, listen, I'm a sound guy, Ben's a sound guy, I'm sure you are all sound humans as well. If I have to hear Don't Stop Believing one more time, I might die. That being said, 80s B-side, or 80s Journey on not the, like, the five songs that everybody knows is really good. Raised on Radio is amazing. Yes. Chef's Kiss it. on the snare drum sound, which got me thinking... While I was crawled inside of that case and Ben was building distros, what's your favorite sound check song, aka your favorite tune the PA system? Ooh, I mean, um, mine is uh, what's it called um, "Graduate" by Third Eye Blind. Oh yeah, I I knew that. Love that actually. song for checking PA. I will. I would concur. That's amazing. I, yeah. I wasn't thinking about that, but that's pretty good. That's one of my favorite albums. Chef's Kiss, again, with Eric Valentine on that <laughs> record. That first Third Eyed Blind record sounds so good. It is fantastic. I think Losing a Whole Year is probably my favorite off, okay. off of that one. one. But do you have a genre specific? Um, usually rock, even if it's not a rock show, just mm -hmm. because it fills so much of the spectrum of sound, usually. So. What are you listening for? Harshness a lot. Yeah. You know, too much... Low end. That's those are two of the bigger things. Better watch out. You're gonna yeah. trigger the comment section with that EQ. <laughs> um, everybody knows mine is Bruce Hornsby's Spider Fingers. Everybody mocks me relentlessly for that song. However, it's another thing to to on your side. It is a uh, mid range checker. Oh, absolutely. Um, most of the sound that I do, or at least for a long time, was piano driven. So. Felt like if you got the mid range right with Spider Fingers, that was uh, the way. That's the only song you use is Graduate. Oh no, um, I'm trying to think now. Uh, I'm putting him on the spot. I told him I'm like, let's do a shop talk real quick, and I'm like, he's like, what's gonna it gonna be about? I'm like, not gonna head. tell you. It has to be real. It has to be spontaneous. Uh, let's see, Grape Juice by Harry Styles. That's a weird take. I don't but, know that song. Oh, it, it's. I mean, it's relatively newer. But what are you saying? I don't listen to popular music. I don't know. I don't know what you listen to. Um, I mean, I do, but I don't. Jamie, uh, Jamie, the drummer and Spirit of the Bear, turned me on to Harry Styles, actually. I never really listened to him before, but it's I actually really like Harry Styles. All right, so I use basically three. I will use Spider Fingers by Bruce Hornsby as my number one, which is hilarious, and Spotify Wrapped is always my number one song. I'm like, oh, that's how many gigs I've worked this year. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a hip-hop gig, which I know that I... The nerd in me doesn't look like I mix hip hop, but I did for a hot minute, and I would always use Lottie Dottie by Snoop Dogg. That was always my my hip hop track. Oh, my third one is uh, "Free as a Bird" by Super Tramp. I also don't know that song. Yeah, it's a it's a one of the it's on their last album. So like their latest little, album. Yeah, but like like their twenty twenty three. No, 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 no. It's <laughs> it's it's from the eighties still, but like it's. One of their later ones that wasn't as popular. Dude, all I can think but about really is, uh, did you ever see the movie High Fidelity? No. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. But uh, that, so basically, it's John Cusack owns a record store, and he's like this, like you know, self-loathing kind of guy. It's actually Jack Black's breakout movie. Oh. One of my favorite, the best breakup movie <laughs> of all time, in my opinion. Huh. Put that, put that in stone. Um, but he, uh, he makes so Tim. I, now I'm confused. Tim Robbins, Tim Robinson. Oh, jeez. Like, one is I think you can you should leave, and the other one is, you know, actor. Anyway, he's in there, and he's like, I'm not going to let my girlfriend be stolen from some Super Tramp fan. 
And that's the only, every time I hear Super Tramp, I think I about love that Super, movie. Super Tramp's recordings are fantastic. All right, we got to put are, them on next. They are fantastic. If only we didn't lose uh, our, our tens of dollars we make uh, on YouTube for monetization if we had that music on in the background. <laughs> All right, my third one uh, is um, there's, a, there's a, a little band called King's X, one of my favorite bands. Uh, and if you're not familiar with 1994's Dog Man album, you should totally check that out. Um, our Lord and Savior Brendan O'Brien did that one. Uh, but there's a song in there called Black the Sky that's very cool. So going to your end, I guess I have a rock, a rap, and an adult contemporary mix. Uh, what is uh, that? Rock? Rock. Very modern pop, and then like 80s rock pop. So like... <laughs> I did admit yeah. in a previous in a previous video that some of my favorite albums uh, are like a band's least popular '80s albums. Like I really like "Fly on the Wall" by AC/DC, which no one likes that album. I don't even know. It's that album. Actually. Pretty pretty <laughs> solid actually. They have a different drummer. It was uh, oh. si uh, Simon Wright was a drummer, not Phil Rudd on that one. Huh. And uh, I like "Power Windows" by Rush. That's right. I like '80s synth Rush. Go ahead, comment section. Do your thing. You like 80s synth thrush and too much EQ? That's right. So, I don't know. Anything else to add for this spontaneous Shop Talk I don't episode? Think so. I mean, it's, another thing that I'll do sometimes is like just whatever song I've been listening on to on repeat lately. Yeah. Like, I'll just add that in there. I, uh, I did switch up my adult contemporary mix to uh, have If I Ever Lose My Faith in You by Sting. Okay. Like, I don't know why Spirit of the Bear works out really well with that song. I don't know why, just that EQ curve sits. And actually, uh, when we were playing at the Chicago Theater, uh, Dennis, the house sound tech from uh, Chicago Theater, who is a wonderful human being, uh, said, that's the best sounding snare drum that has ever been recorded. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Vinny Coyuta, best sounding snare drum on Sting's uh, Ten Summoner's Tales. Nice. Anyway, we talked a lot about music without really listening to music because, you know, hashtag YouTube. But anyway, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. See ya.